Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Minx Laura123. This is going to be a spend the weekend with me vlog so hope you enjoy watching. If you do please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. Okay, so yeah, it's Saturday. Um, I've been quite productive, motivated so far today. Um, the time is 20 past two, thereabouts. Um, really, I should have started this vlog earlier. Have you been too I didn't, busy? it's because I was busy. So I got up about 10-ish. So I had a little lay-in, little lay-in, yeah, right. and I literally got up, had some water, and got on the bike. So I was on there for quite a while. Um, I did a live stream as well whilst I was on the bike, which really helps because I get bored on the bike. I do. Like I just, I get bored. Yeah. So I'm when I'm, yeah, you've been playing your switch when you're on the bike, and I do either live streams, or obviously listen to music. But it does keep you occupied because yeah. you're chatting to people. And then the next thing, I haven't realised I've done it for that long. So, yeah, so I did that. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I did some filming. I've got some personalised videos to do. So um, I've done a little bit of that this morning. I've still got more filming to do today and tomorrow. Um, but, oh, by the way, if anyone wants a personalised video, if you want a personalised video... I'll get a lifetime support anyway. <laughs> well, maybe not Nathan. But if you would like a personalised video, and it could be anything. It could be an ASMR-themed like video, or it could be a vlog of your choice. Maybe you've got questions you want to ask me. I don't know. Whatever you want, let me know. Give me an email, minxlaura123 at gmail.com. Or if you're on my socials, just DM me and say, Hey, Laura, this is what I'd like as an idea for a personalised video. And we can chat. Look at me being a bit yeah. of a wheeler dealer anyway um so yeah i did a bit of filming which was good and then i had a shower hence i've still got wet hair part of me is like should i dry my hair before i go out but i just so can't be bothered rain, so. yeah exactly i'm worried that i'm gonna like sit here drying it and then it's just gonna it's get wet here. again um by the way do you like my new jumper it's very nice. you do do you like it viewers um this green i would say is probably would have been my grandma's favorite color she loves green. she absolutely loved green she um was obsessed everything green she loved it and um i saw this it's only second hand it's not no i think i paid like four quid for it or 350 or something in a charity shop and i just love it it fits perfect the colors just so it so suits me it's nice not being arrogant that's only really arrogant isn't it, it? no but it does like yeah. my skin tone is quite pasty and pale and this is like this gorgeous green, green. Yeah. and i've got dark hair yeah anyway so yeah worth always looking at charity shops because you can find bargains um talking about charity shops really quickly i'm not going to tell you everything but i will say a little hint hopefully fingers crossed i might be getting a little volunteering job in a charity shop but i'm not going to say any more until number yeah, one i've had the training <laughs> and realize if i'm rubbish or, 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 any good, yeah. or if it happens etc but there could be a possibility which i'm really excited about and psyched up because i've always wanted to work in a charity shop i love charity shop shopping ever since i was a little girl and so it's you know it's a really exciting thing and also i just really like the idea of volunteering and helping people meeting new people chatting uh, getting experience of you know being in a shop and stuff so i'm just really excited It'd be so. like a real life role play. it will be oh, hello how can i help you today will you do your grocery store role play? yeah i know i love doing them um, but yeah, I suppose when I was a kid, I had a few things, you know, some of the jobs that I wanted to do. One was working a shop, um, any shop. Any shop <laughs> I also any. wanted to be a hairdresser. Yep. Uh, this is when I was like a kid, right? Which you do now on your videos. Which I do, you know, some of videos, haircut role plays. Um, but the main one I wanted to do. Which you're not doing. No, sadly. But I'd be good at that. You would be good at it. A bingo caller. Bingo caller. I remember when I was at school, did they ever do like lessons when they'd go around the class asking what you wanted to be or yeah. not? Oh, they did? Yeah. They always used to do that at my junior school and they'd go, right, Laura, what do you want to be? And I was like, a bingo caller. <laughs> so it must have been really weird <laughs> for the teachers. Everyone else, I want to be a policeman or a nurse or work in an office or whatever. And me, bingo caller. I don't know, I was an odd child. I was an archaeologist. Is that what you Well, you still like all that, so... And I'd still want to be a bingo caller. I'd still want to be an archaeologist. So let's do, let's do it. It's never too late to live our dream. Three and five. Thirty-five. All the ones. Eleven. Anyway, I'm not doing that now. But yeah, I'd love to do a bit. That's what I love. When we do our little family bingo, mm. I love being the caller. But then again, I always get the giggles. Yeah. Maybe I'm not suited for that job. Anyway, 
I don't know where I'm going with this. But yeah, oh yeah, the charity shop thing. So it's really exciting. If I, if I don't do well, it doesn't happen. You know, that's fair enough. But we'll see. I'll keep you all informed. But it's something exciting that could be happening. I think it's exciting anyway. Um, so yeah, plans are, I've hurt my foot. I don't know how I've hurt my foot. I think I know how I hurt my foot because I've been wearing them old trainers of mine that are all broken inside. Yesterday I went out and I was walking for a good few hours, yeah. done a lot of steps and I was wearing them. So whether that has made it worse because there's no support at all. Yeah, they're, so they're, they're back. They've gone in the bin now. They have gone. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it was that. But yeah, I've hurt my foot. It's my left foot. It's like my toe sort of area. And like underneath, mm. what's that bit, like the sole? Mm. Is it the sole, like the front? The, the, pa the, the padded, padded bit, toes. bit yeah. near your toes. Um, them. But it hurts, basically. Mm. So I was like, mm, do I want to go out? I do want to go out and there's things I want to get, but I'm like, I don't want to make it worse walking on it. But then sometimes, when you get like muscle nerve pain, it helps to walk, walk off, and yeah. stretch it out. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm I've just had... Your sketches have got lots of support. Yeah, I'm wearing my sketches, see if I can... See how flexible I am at 44 years old. Can I get my leg right up here? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a bit of a twist. Yeah, that was a bit too much. But I've done it. Well. I've done it. But, um, yeah, the sketches have got, like, this extra support and padding and stuff for walking. So, um, yeah, basically I'm going to go out to town, which is, I get about 7,000, 8,000 steps in yeah. when I walk to town and back. It's about 300 calories. Yeah. 200 and 300 yeah. calories burnt. Which is reasonably good. Yeah. So, and you've already done 150-ish yeah, on the bike, 150 -ish on the bike plus the walk. Mm. So the more calories I can burn throughout the day, it's, it's good. So, yeah, I want to go to Mark's Spencer, which is right down the other end, unfortunately. Mm. But more steps, so that's good. And I want to get one thing in there. One thing. One <laughs> All that way for one item. One item only. Potato croquettes. I just got a real urge for them. You love them. Yeah, me and, and my mum used to always love them. Well, I thought they'd be really fattening, and I said to Nathan, can you look up nutrition facts? Because I'm not useless, yeah. I don't know what things are. How much is a the calories for a potato croquette from Mark's? Yeah. And it is. 80 calories. About 80, yeah. yeah. Which I thought would be a lot more, because they've got the breadcrumbs. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're not massive. Potato they're only like that well. big, and yeah, potato. Yeah. They're so nice. Yeah, a couple of them. It's really weird, because me and my mum always used to snack on them. Mm. Cold. Yeah, but you meant to cook them. But you meant to cook them. We but never knew raw. for years. Yeah, they're raw. We was eating raw mudgy. Never done us any. Well, so well, I didn't do. Did. Yeah, ones. I did always have tummy ache. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So I cook them now. But I only put them in the microwave yeah, for like menu. thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, they're right. They're fine. <laughs> but yeah, so literally that's all I need. And then I'm gonna go to Poundland and look at their freezer section. I'm not allowed to look at the clothes or any other it's bits and pieces. No, I'm literally gonna go to the food section and see if I can find anything for us for the freezers and. Bits and pieces. Um, I think that's all I needed when I was out, didn't I? Yeah. That's it. Oh, oh yeah, I've got to go to Fishy Business. Oh, sorry, Fishy Business. Wilma has, she's been like a shark this week. She's eaten, sorry, I'm not meaning to like food shame her, but she's eaten so much this week <laughs> of her little plant. Because she wasn't well yeah, we recently, had we had to give her less flakes. She's been on a diet as well. Yeah, she's had to go on a diet. We're all on diets in the house. Yeah. Um, but because obviously she's not having as many flakes, she's thinking, hmm, right. what else can I snack on? So this time, a plant. You, you bought her a new plant last week. I bought her last week, yeah. And there's not even branches left. No, there. she's at most of the branch. She's stalking everything. Which she never does. She normally just has the it's leaves. Just a, it's just a pot, pot in a bowl. Yeah, it's just a pot. So I've got to go in there again. He's going to think I'm a weirdo. Hello, I'm here for a plant again. Well, oh, when was that it? <laughs> it's supposed to last like a month or two. Yeah, he said they last ages. Yeah. She eats it all. Eat Normally it. she don't eat it this quick though, yeah, so well, she's obviously she really, really hungry. I really like that one. Yeah, it was a different one. I actually tried a different plant because yeah. I went in there last week and they didn't have many plants and I thought, oh no. But then at the back little bit, they had some mm. and I said, are these all right for goldfish? And he said, yeah. So I got them and now she, she's at it, it within a few loves days it. really. Loves it. So yeah, three shops to go to, a bit of a walk, try and... Hopefully stretch my foot out a little bit. I mean, if it is nerves and muscle, yep. walking might help it. Yeah, well, I might make it really bad and worse. When you get home, we've got some washing to put away. Yeah, we've got washing to put away. Got um, stickers off of that chest of drawers. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's you know obviously mum's furniture that she had since if you're sorry if you knew him, my mum passed away a few months ago. If you're not if you're a regular, you'll know. You know but if you know she passed away, and and slowly but surely we're doing things out in the house. 
and having to get rid of certain things. Um, and one of the things we were going to actually uh, put online to sell, but we decided, no, we're going to keep it, is the little dressing tape. Is it a dressing tape? No, Oh, um, Chester, Chester drawers. drawers. Sorry, no, yeah. Table. I bet that's it. Yeah, the little bedside uh, table. So it had a couple of drawers in it and obviously the top of it. And it is really nice. It's, it's expensive. She did pay a lot for that. Yeah. yeah. So um, we were going to just get rid of it. And then Nathan was like, well, your one's a bit grubby, which is true. And cause it was. And the, yeah, I think we even got it second hand. Yeah, possibly. Because we, we got two more yeah. Manuals. Yeah. So they were a little bit grotty yeah, and dirty. Uh, yeah. I'm naughty. I spill like drinks over it. and yeah. yeah. So anyway, that was the plan. So we have put, the other day basically, we emptied out everything in my drawer, drawers next to the bed and we've put my mum's one next, next to my side. Yeah. It's actually got a bit more space now next to my bed, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Um, and it just looks really smart flash and flash. And, nice. and I know my mum would have been happy that we'd have kept it. But we've got to break the other one, but you've got but, some stickers on there you want to keep. Yeah, I've got some little... Cute stickers. I don't know if we'll get them off or not, to be honest. But we're going to try. But I'm going to try. I don't I don't want to sort of try and take them off and just rip them. If yeah. they rip, they rip. But I'm I've just got to try. I had this thing that I always used to put stickers. Do you remember I went for a yeah. phase of putting book stickers? Cases. All my bookcases have got stickers all yeah. over them. Yeah. I won't do that in the new bookcases. No. When it Eventually, I want them to look smart and tidy yeah. and clean, not with yeah. loads of stickers. Because stickers look cute, but then they start to peel yeah, off, look, look a bit right manky. Thing. So, anyway, yeah, so you're, you're going to bash that up today? Yeah, get, get a hammer and destroy it. You can think of me. Every time I irritate you, we do this, we do that. I point out some Just... pictures of you sticking to it. <laughs> uh, so he's going to bash that about with the hammer, and, and then we've got to put it in the, yeah, yeah break it up and put it outside. But, yeah, it's a bit of a mission. Mind you, it's not a big yeah, so chest of jaw thing, is it? Pimsy, that's yeah, it. yeah, true. So yeah, he's got that to do. I'm gonna have some nice veg at some point later when I get back. Got me my steamer. Uh, oh, you know what we have got tonight to look forward to. Gladiators. Da 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 Gladiators. It's on. Gladiators. No mass singer though. That's we might finished. Play a bit of Switch as well. We're gonna play a bit of the. I'd, I'm bowling. up for that. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm up for that. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the plan for today. Um, and reading. Where's reading. my book? Oh, it's over there. Over I... there oh, it's over there. Right. Well, when I go and read later, I'll show you the book and tell you about it. Um, so, yeah, that's me Saturday. And I don't know Sunday, really. Yeah. We just go with the flow. We'll but if you want to know, carry on watching. Because that's what this video is. Spend the weekend with me. Right. I'm going to get my bits and pieces together. Yeah, well, be late. And it's going to be late. Yep. Yeah, and get, get going. So what are you going to do when I go out? You're going to cry. You're going to miss me. A bit of television. Relax. Yeah. Miss you. That's better. It's waiting for that. Relax. Relax. And relax. Eat a load of sweets. <laughs> no, don't know. eat sweets. We're on a diet. We've done really well. Nathan's yeah, done better than me. You've lost over a stone. Yeah. Which proves that I haven't And been. no, it's I've lost up. We're just over off a stone now, a little tiny bit. It's hard though, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, right, I'm going to stop rambling and get on. So, yeah, enjoy spending the weekend with me. <laughs> Just doing fishy business, getting Wilma her plant. <laughs> Look at him sucking to the glass. <laughs> Just sucking on there. That is quite cute. Fishies, fishies. Neon Tetras. I love the Neon Tetras. That looks really pretty. The way they've done, like, the rocks and stuff and the little light in the middle. Really cool. Really relaxing. I could sit and watch that for like an hour and just feel completely calm. Let's see what fishes are over here. That one looks sassy. Or maybe it's just me, but it looks sassy. I love the colour, like bluey grey of them fish. Are you sassy? He's <laughs> like, no, I'm not sassy. Go away. Oh, they're weird, aren't they? I like them though. I don't know what they are, but they're really cool. <laughs> Oh, cute. You are on YouTube. Please don't swear. <laughs> oh, I love fish. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm just going to head into Marks and Spencer now. The Easter eggs are coming out. They do really weird ones in Marks and Spencer's. They did this last year. Look, Dougal the puppy. <laughs> That one is just really creepy. Curly the puppy. 
Is it just me or is that a little bit creepy? I don't know. Oh, my friend Jenny would love this. Look, Flossie the Highland Cow. <laughs> she loves cows. Got a chocolate robot, chocolate robot. Nathan would like that one. Mind you, Nathan would also like this one. Look, the dinosaur. Chocosaurus Rex. <laughs> Aha, found my croquettes. I love these cans. How cool are these? Look at that. Love it. The aesthetic is so nice. All right, let's go pay. It's literally all I've got. One packet of potato croquettes. I'm just in Waterstones now, looking around the books. And it's good because I've still got some vouchers left from Christmas. I was like, it's good. I've got like three books. I found these two. This is the bad ones, which looks super creepy. Look at that cover. That is like creepy as. Uh, goddess, goddess, count to five in the morning, who's alive? I was like, oh yeah, I'm all for that. That looks good. And this one I think I remember hearing about before. It's called Lie or Die. And it's like reality TV kind of vibe, murder thing. Reality TV just got real. So yeah, that's pretty cool as well. So my vouchers will treat me to a little treat. Oh God, look at that one. The stakes have been raised. <laughs> oh, maybe you could play zombie kittens streaking kittens exploding kittens why are they doing all these things to kittens hmm. Wilma approves of this game sounds fishy <laughs> love that puzzle look at that oh, I wish I could do puzzles I'm just I'm no good I just can't do them Moomins I used to watch that show when I was little the Moomins <laughs> just saw this that the dog city detective that is a cool a cool uh, tile and a cool cover as well actually Okay, right, I'm gonna go pay for these with my little vouchers. Let's do it. Just found this. It's 188 calories, pro milk, chocolate protein shake. It's pretty much like slim fast though, isn't it, really? Let's be honest, how much is that? Uh, pound. Hmm. Hmm. So maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna get a cold drink. I'm not sure if to get Diet Coke or Coke Zero. I think Coke Zero is a bit sweeter, isn't it? I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, they're not very cold. I wonder if they, oh no, they're the real Coke. Hmm. That's colder. I'll have to get Diet Coke. <laughs> I think they were just putting new stock in, so that's why it's not as cold, so I'll get that instead. Well, oh, actually, I did need to see if they had any more, um, oh, they have, shampoo conditioner. I'll get this one, the coconut one. I like having plenty to stock up on. And a shampoo as well. There we go. Actually, I should get a basket because, yeah, look, I'm trying to like hold everything. <laughs> right, let's get a basket. Actually, we did need something in here. Uh, them cleaning cloths. Where are they? Oh, are they over there? Oh, and dishwasher tablets. I forgot to put them on the list. Hold on, let's have a look. Yeah, these are only like a pound and they're actually quite good. Get 10 of them. Lemon sparkle finish classic. It's good for a pound. Get two boxes, then we've got 20, so we're always using dishwasher. Oh, okay, right. Ah, these are the cloths. The blue ones. 10 pack, all purpose cloths. I had the ones on a roll before, but I haven't got them, so I'm just going to have to get them. We do need kitchen towel as well. Um, what's this one? One pound. Yeah. Okay, so I'm home now. And I'm just doing something to eat. Nathan was very kind and he put my uh, vegetables in the steamer. So I have got cauliflower and gravy and broccoli and mushrooms and cabbage. And I've got my, um can't really see because they are coated in gravy now. But yeah, it's the uh, fake chicken, uh, meat-free chicken from Richmond. And basically like little slices. I love them. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm just serving my dinner. And then I'm going to do some YouTube work. I've got editing to do, as ever. Um, what else have I got to do? Oh, yeah, just put some videos on, things like that. So just, you know. Oh, and answer my comments as well. I always make sure I answer comments. So if you ever want to leave me a comment, please do. Because I always reply to comments. Um, and then, yeah, once I've done some youtube work, I'm going to... I don't know, what time's the Gladiators on, bub? Uh, about six, I think. Mm, okay. So after editing, I'm just going to watch the Gladiators. So... Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, just on a hot chocolate. This is the Options Belgian Chocolate Sachet. And they're only 40 calories. So if you're looking for a sweet little treat, and, you know, it's cold, so a nice hot drink's lovely, I would really recommend these. I think they do in another flavour as well. Uh, salted quite, caramel. No, I think they did quite a few. Oh, do they? I think there's like about 10 different options. Oh, of white in Sainsbury's, I've only ever seen two of them. Yeah, there's loads. Okay, well, well, there you go. Be, whether they are now, but... Yeah, in Sainsbury's, I've only ever seen the Belgian chocolate yeah, one and salted caramel. Oh, chocolate maybe orange. other supermarkets yeah. do them. We'll have to or look online. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice little sweet treat when I fancy something yeah. and it'll warm me up. Do you like my see-through it's mug? It's very cool mug. Where do you think I got that from? Because it's quite posh. Oh, okay. So I can't fool you. No. <laughs> it was from Panla. It don't look like it's from Panla, though, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. Okay, so it's 10 to 7, and I've just been doing my youtube work, done some editing, etc., etc. Now I'm just sitting doing my comments, just replying to people's comments. Nathan is watching Expedition Unknown <laughs> with Josh Gates. What are they doing in today's episode? Um, they're looking for missing... World War Two planes. Yeah. Because the pilots never made it home. That's so they're sad. going to recover their remains oh. and bring them home. At least their families will have their remains, you know Close, what I mean? Closure yeah. as well. Closure, yeah. They're all just listed as missing. Yeah. Hopefully they find them. Well, the trailer, it looked like they did. At least one of them. Yeah. There's 200 missing. Yeah. At least place. if they find some. Exactly. So yeah, he's watching that and I'm doing me YouTube stuffs. Da da da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's time for Gladiator. <laughs> you look like you're cringing right now. Do I make you cringe? Very much so. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to watch Gladiators. So we're going to be Gladiators. Right? I think the amount that we're doing keep fit walk in exercise you know we could be gladiators yeah <laughs> oh, gladiators ready contender ready no i'm not oh you're not no i'm not ready okay <laughs> okay just watch gladiators Woo, it's good you i love, think i could do that eliminator you love, you love the giant I do love Giant. <laughs> they wear very tight clothing on the Gladiators. It's funny, that. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving on very swiftly. Top of the Pops. We are going to watch. These are the old ones that we watch now and again. This is not on anymore. No, I mean like really like yeah, old school this ones. This is 1992. We watched one the other day and it had some really good songs on. I was yeah. like, oh my God, I remember that. Yeah. One of them. Did you remember that? Felix. Don't you want me, don't you want oh, my no, love, no. don't you want my loving? Very repetitive, though. Yeah, but catchy. Catchy. Um, But this is from 1992. I don't know who's on this one. I'm not going to spoil it, that's why. Oh, I'm okay, on. we're not... Sometimes you see at the bottom who's on it. Yeah, but I'm not going to. Is it a mystery and yeah. surprise? I, I know who's on it. Will I, I like to... the people I on it? I don't know. Okay, we'll see. So, yeah, we're just going to watch a bit of Top of the Pops, old school. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. The time is about half past 11. I've been up about an hour or so. Just been doing some filming. I just filmed an ASMR video in which I sat and read bedtime stories. Um, it was a viewer's request. So I thought it was really cute. Actually, I really enjoyed doing that video. So I read uh, the old classic, The Princess and the Pea which I absolutely love. Nathan got me this for Christmas as a little kind of retro, kind of old school present because I used to say that when I was a kid, my granddad... Uh, would read these stories to me, like the ladybird stories, and I absolutely love them. So he got me that for Christmas. So I used that in the video, which was cool. Um, and I also read this one, which I can't even remember where I got this. It might have been the works, actually. I know it's a kid's book, right? And I'm an adult, but I absolutely love this story. It's called Star of the Show. And it's about these like animals who are like um, trying to like put on a talent show and they're all kind of um, going against each other because they want the lead role. And it's just really cute. Very talented animals, um, but quite bitchy towards each other. But then, yeah, it's all good. It's all got a happy ending. But yeah, so I read this one and The Princess and the Pea. Whew, but yeah, at least I've got another ASMR video done. I'm trying to get like more ASMR videos done because I feel like lately all I seem to do is concentrate on this channel, which is great because obviously I need to make videos for the vlog. But 
like yeah my as my channel I've got to sort of work on more I have kind of neglected it a bit and you know not put as much content out as I used to so I've got to try and start working on that again so yeah been quite a productive morning so far um for breakfast I've got my slim fast chocolate milkshake um so yeah I'm also going to have a bit of toast as well I find that when I just have the milkshake it's not like, I know it's supposed to fill you up, but like it just it it doesn't it doesn't like it can keep me going for a few hours. But I like having that with a bit of toast as well. So yeah, it's only like what two hundred and five calories plus a bit of toast, uh, which is brown bread anyway. So that's what I'm gonna you know have for my breakfast. Um, I'm not sure what to do now. Nathan's still asleep. He's having a lay in. We didn't go to bed till like three in the morning. Um, so he's having a lay in, and I do want to go out not because I need anything. But I just, I like getting my steps in every day. I like getting fresh air. I like having a walk as well. Um, you know, I just think it's good for my mental health as well as exercise. So um, I might have a shower in a bit and then just literally, the only place I want to go to uh, really is just drop my books back at the library. Um, they're closed on a Sunday, which is really annoying because they used to be open on a Sunday. But anyway, they're closed on a Sunday, but you can have, there's like a drop box thing there, we just put them through. Because I've got three library books to take back. So as soon as I'm ready with them, I like to take them back quick, smart. Like I know it's like waiting for books. And, you know, sometimes these books have been reserved for people. So I'm like, right, you know, they might get it a bit earlier. Um, and also it gets them out of the house because I've got too many books everywhere. <laughs> um so yeah, I might just do that and just walk up. I might nip into Sainsbury's as well because I do need some more of those uh, meat-free chicken slices because I keep eating them. I'm eating them because they're low calorie, they taste nice, and they just they're good with either in like a little sandwich or just like with a salad or with my like last night I had vegetables with the chicken slices. So um, and as I keep saying, they're low calorie. They've got high protein. It's all good for me. So anyway, I might just nip to Sainsbury's, get those and uh, see if Nathan wants anything and just drop my library books back. My foot is still hurting. Um, my other foot's hurting as well. I think it's where they're cold as well. I don't think that's helping because my, my feet feel so cold. Um, I mean, the house in general just feels really cold. I feel cold. Um, we put the central heating on yesterday for a couple of hours, which warms it up, but it's just, it's like so expensive. Do you know what I mean? You've got to pay out for all this heating. And I'm like, mm. I remember, bless her, when my mum was alive, she always used to nag at me and Nathan because I'd say, Mum, I'm just going to put the heating on. And she's like, Laura, do you realise how much that costs when you keep putting the central heating on? I was like, but it's bloody freezing. Um, but now, obviously, the bill's down to just me and Nathan. I'm like, okay, I get it. It took me a long time, but now I get the pressure of the bills. And yeah, you know, anytime we can keep warm by just putting a blanket over us or putting another layer of clothing or making a hot drink, it's cheaper than putting the heating on. Um, but at the end of the day, like, when it's this cold, like, we're going to get ill if we don't put the heating on. So I'm like, what do we do? Ugh. Adulting. It's not fun. <laughs> I've just been um, playing with this as well, my little stress toy. I was getting really stressed filming because um, I kept messing it up. And I was doing, like, the storybook um, ASMR video. It was, what was it? Oh, yeah, it was the Princess and the P one. I kept saying, instead of saying P, I said T. And I was like, why do I keep messing this up? Like, I don't know. Anyway, and because I got stressed, I've got my little fidget squishy toy and started squeezing it. These are really good. Like, these really help with my anxiety, stress. Um, just fidget toys, really, aren't they, I suppose? Squishy toys and that. Um, so in the middle of filming, I just took a break and I was just sitting here doing this. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Um, anyway, oh, I did want to show you something, actually. Um, now, I'm not very good at arts and craft, but I do enjoy it, even though I'm crap at it. And I did a bit of rock painting. So my friend Lisa actually painted a couple of rocks. She's really good. Like, she's a proper talented artist. And she painted on these rocks two um, Betty Boop pictures on the rocks. I'll go out in the garden and bring them in and show you because they're in the garden. And she done it for my mum. As you know, my mum loved um, Betty Boop, and I've tried to copy that. It hasn't gone that great. Um, I did it. I did it in the week. Me and my friend Kelly, uh, she did one, and I did one. Um, but yeah, I, I done Betty Boop on my one. So I'm going to show you in a minute. It's not that great, but I don't. Know, I really like rock painting. I just, I'm just not that good. But I do prefer using the pens, like rock painting pens, instead of like just paint with a brush. I think you get more of a kind of, I don't know, like it just feels like you're drawing and not painting um yeah my nail looks awful well, I did literally I do my nails and then they just look awful me I need to redo them again today especially if I'm sort of doing filming and stuff I have my hands on camera and 
I just get really paranoid that people are like, ooh, look at her nails. Because I do. I look at my nails and think, ooh. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to redo those today. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me show you Lisa's Betty Boot Rocks, and then I'll show you my one. And I know you're going to think hers is better because it, it clearly is, but, you know, at least I tried. Okay, so I'm just in the garden, and these are the two rocks that my friend Lisa painted. Look, Betty Boop. She's really cool. She's so talented. These rocks, however, <laughs> ones that I did ages ago. That one's upside down. Hold on, there's one over here as well. <laughs> so, yeah, my rock painting skills, you know, they're not great, but that's Lisa's one. <laughs> Casey thought, well, that's good. That one's Lisa's one as well, so... Barbie one she done so yeah they're supposed to be books <laughs> that one's not too shabby that I did that's my baby shark um but anyway yeah so they are the two that I was kind of you know working from and this is what my one ended up like <laughs> I mean Nathan can you it's what, what do you as an art critique it's recognizably human it does look a bit like Betty Boop. It looks more like your mum, actually, than Betty Boop. It does look a bit like my mum. Yeah. Mind you, my mum's cheeks weren't quite as chubby. No, but... I get where you're coming yeah, from. It's... She's got a red dress. Yeah. She's got the gold earrings and the black hair. Yeah. Bright red lipstick. I mean, you can kind of... It's like an abstract. Exactly. An abstract Betty. Her eyes look a bit yeah. freaky. Demonic. Yeah. <laughs> but she's yeah. like an abstract version like a picasso so painting. compared to lisa's baby um, box, yours is a picasso so you can always you always I win. Picasso, yeah thank you good good choice look at this pigeon he's having a right little feast someone's put some bread out for him and he's just loving it <laughs> see him in there <laughs> cute okay i'm out and about now just walk into town gonna go to the library first i've got my little trolley with me in case you wondered what that sound was. <laughs> People still laugh at me using this trolley, but I tell you what, it really helps me when I'm doing my shopping. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go library first, drop my books back in the little drop box thing. And then I need to go to Sainsbury's, try and get a few bits and pieces in there. Nathan wants me to get him a couple of bits as well. So yeah, that is the plan. It's a very fresh and crisp day. I don't mind this type of weather. I just don't want it to rain. Like, please, no, no. <laughs> Last Sunday, right, I went out and I got absolutely freaking drenched. I was like a drowned rat. It was horrible. So I don't mind it being a bit cold. I've got a thick sweatshirt on, but like, oh, don't rain, please. No rain. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Do what I've got to do, get home. Um, Nathan's going to do the uh, chest of drawers, bedside cabinet thing, break that apart at some point this afternoon. And he's also going to help me later make and design a flyer, which I'm going to put up on the notice board in a few places to sell my tarot card reading. Oh, it's all slippery. Sorry. Ugh, I don't know what I trod in, but it was all slippery. Um, yeah, I'm gonna obviously I do tarot card reading, so trying a bit of extra, trying to get a bit of extra money. Hold on, let me sort my bag out. Look, it's this bugs me when the strap. There we go. Right, yeah, trying to get extra. E ah, trying to get a bit of extra money. There we go. So I was like, yeah, tarot card reading. I love doing it people say that I'm quite good at it you know um so I thought yeah let's put some like little flyers out and just put my email address I don't want to put my phone number or nothing but like I'll put my email address on it and uh get people if they're interested to contact me by the way if you are watching this and you would like a personalized tarot card reading let me know uh, give me an email or if you're on my social media you could just dm me and just say you're a viewer and you'd like a tarot card reading. Uh, but if you want to email me, it's minxlaura123 at gmail.com. That's minxlaura123 at gmail.com. And I'm not going to charge silly amounts. Like, I'm literally going to charge like a fiver for a three card reading. Or, sorry, my bag's slipping down again. 
Ugh, really bugs me. <sighs> oh, so my friend also suggested that I try and offer to do like a video, um, you know, like a Skype or something or whatever. So yeah, I think it'd be up to the person what they prefer. And obviously if I did it through video, I charge me extra. But if it's just an email result, Tarot, yeah, I'll look, I'm trying everything to get extra cash. So, you know, but yeah, so we're going to sort of design a little flyer. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, but just, you know, so it stands out a bit, it looks cool. Easy to understand what to do. The email, contact details and all that. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you do want a tarot card reading. But, uh, so yeah, we can do that today. I have got a little bit of editing to do. That I didn't do yesterday, so I've got to do that today. There's a video I forgot to do, so I've got to do that today. Get that done, put it on. Uh, also got to put a video on the ASMR channel. So I've got to set that all up, put the links in, tags, etc. Schedule that for tonight to go on live. <sighs> so yeah, that is the plan. I'm really hungry, but I'm trying not to think about it. Because, oh, <laughs> because I had a slim fast, obviously, for breakfast and some toast. And that's kind of it. And I'm like, <laughs> so once I'm home... I'll have something to eat, nice jacket potato, salad, that kind of thing. But I'm trying not to think of food. I'm trying to keep myself busy while I'm out. Because <laughs> otherwise, like, ugh. I do love the slim fast, but I don't know. Sometimes they fill me up, but other times, I don't know, I'm still hungry afterwards. But on oh, my bag. Right, anyway, I'll go now. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so if you go around here, there's a little bookshop. Just put the books in there. Okay, first one in. Oh. Set. Second one. Push that in. And this one. That's it. Always make sure they've gone right in, not just sticking out. So, yeah, that's fine. Done. Okay, just in Sainsbury's now. I'm just seeing what different like meat free stuff they've got if there's anything that takes my fancy well, normally I have the um, corn mints but I've just seen Sainsbury's got their own plant pioneers high protein no meat mints hmm I might try that actually I think that it's only 186 which is quite good so yeah, I'll give that one a go. This used to be my old high school. It used to be called Pretty Well High School. Now it's a uh, Catholic school, junior school. But uh, yeah, I used to go to school here. <laughs> um, look at these pretty trees. They're so pretty as you walk along. Got to be careful because the pollen, but they do look pretty. There's what we used to call the haunted bell tower. Can you see that up there? Right at the top. Oh, still scares me thinking about it. The haunted bell tower. <laughs> but yeah, look at the pretty trees. My trolley is filled up to the brim with shopping. I'll show you what I got when I got in. Um, yeah, look, 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 I don't know, are they blossom trees? Like pink blossom? Very pretty. Oh, spent a little bit more than I was meant to. I was only going to get like a couple of things, but there we go. I just saw while I'm there. You know, I need to get bits and pieces. The only thing I couldn't fit in my trolley was my special K, so I'm just holding that. So what I'm going to do now is just drop all this home, and then I'm quickly going to go around the little corner shop, because Nathan wants a can of drink. And I really fancy a bottle of Diet Cola, Diet Coke. I am definitely Team Pepsi. Like, I love Pepsi Max, right? It's my addiction. However, yesterday... When I had that tight coat from Poundland, oh look, little daffodils. Hold on, just wanted to show you these little daffodils. I love daffodils, they're so cute. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> random. But yeah, so when I um, had that Diet Coke, I was like, wow, like this tastes so much sweeter than it ever did. Obviously when I'm losing weight and I ain't having as much rubbish and sweet things, sugary things, when you do have something that's sweet, you're like, whoa. And it really did taste nice, so 
I'm always going to be Team Pepsi, but I, I did enjoy that Diet Coke, so I said to Nathan, I'm going to go around the corner shop and uh, just get a bottle of Diet Coke, and he wants either a normal Coke or Dr Pepper, so he's also only having diet drinks, but he said he just fancies a normal full fat drink today, and he's got all that work to do, you know, bashing the... Uh, chest of drawers uh, you know bedside cabinets apart so he said he'll need the energy <laughs> so yeah that's the plan Whew. okay i'm home i've got half a biscuit in my mouth yeah i've got half a biscuit that's why i'm talking funny <laughs> all right i'm just going to quickly show you mashed potato got that which i haven't had for ages but i'm going to put it with some mint yes Vegetarian mint. Vegetarian. I make like a cottage pie. Yeah. But instead of having a whole tub. Half. Because it's only 200 calories half. for half. So what is it for the whole thing then? 400 calories. Okay. So if you just put it in half, have it with mint. Yeah. Okay. Because mints. How many calories? Well, so mint? yeah, I normally have the quorn cool mints, but I saw yeah. this one. High protein. I'm going to eat the quorn to compare. Yeah, that's a look. Let's have a comparison. Comparison time. Yeah, so yeah. this is plump pioneers mints, lightly seasoned soy mints. And this was a lot cheaper as well. Yeah. I think I saw the high protein. I was like, oh. 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 Um, I also got my meat free chicken, Richmond slices, two of them. I shouldn't talk my mouth full. Um, no. I got my closed cut mushrooms. I love these. You do. They're up to the 2nd of March. Got a baby watermelon. Which nice melon. Doesn't look baby. No. But it is, but it's big. Um, I've got these chips. Thank you for the chips. Big bag of yep. chips. Cucumber. Oh no! No, I didn't forget. I, I did forget vinegar. I'll get it around the shop. Okay. Woof! One thing. One I forgot. Thing. I only asked for two. <laughs> you asked for two things. I and you've got things that you didn't. Yeah, on I the know. List. Special K, a cucumber. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I've got to go around the shop yeah. and get drinks. So I'll get vinegar around there. Um, okay, right. So let's compare. Yeah. So this. Uh, can I show it on camera? Yeah, this is corn. So this is the corn mince, both vegetarian. Yeah, so this is, says high in protein. Oh, that also says high in protein. High in protein, gluten free, low in saturated, no soy. So, right, let's have a look. So, quarter of the pack is 100 calories. 100? 106. 106. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that is, uh, keep flipping it over because there might be more nutrition on the back. That's better. That is so per 100 grams mm -hmm. is 140, per 100 grams 92. This oh, is no. less calories, is it? Per 100 oh, no, grams. that's bad because it was cheaper, yeah. Oh. But it's probably made of better quality ingredients, yeah. Is it a lot cheaper? They look so cheaper, a lot. No, there's not a lot. So, this 100 grams of this is 92, mm -hmm. 100 grams of this. It's 140, so it's, it's a bit, 50 calories. 50 more, but we'll give it a we'll go. Give it a go. Um, okay, it's all green and orange, yeah. though. Yeah, That's not like red. Green. Is that all green? All green. So what's worse Better than that, the then? The salt. Yeah. Hmm. So that one is probably better. Yeah, that is definitely better. Okay. Well, I'll still keep it in the freezer. Yeah, because this isn't made of soy. This is made of soy. So what's the difference? I'm a bit confused. Well, no. This is no soy. No this soy. Is soy. Soya. Yeah. So why do they make that out of then, the corn one? Oh. It's made out of lettuce. <laughs> no, it's no, not. It's made out of, looks like mushroom. Oh, oh yeah, corn mushroom, yeah. yeah. So this is made out of soy, that's made out of, okay. Well, I'll give it a go. I'll put it in the freezer. It's got a long date on it, isn't it? Yeah. So, if I ever need some mints and stuff. Yeah. You've got it. it. And it is cheaper. It so is cheaper, so. We'll see. Right, okay. I'm going to go around the shop now because I want to get Diet Cola. I keep saying cola. Coke. Diet Coke. You want a drink. And also vinegar because I vinegar. forgot to get it in Sainsbury's. Right. Okay, just walk into the corner shop now. So I want a Diet Coke. There we go. Nathan wants a can of uh, normal Coke. I've just seen how many calories these little milkshakes have got in them. Oh, only 110. It's not too bad. Virtually fat free. 29p. <laughs> mm. 
might get one of them. What else they got? Banana and strawberry. Hmm, might get a little strawberry one. Weirdly, the strawberry one's less calories. It's only 90. 98 calories. <laughs> These are what I used to love, but I bet they've got loads of calories in them. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of calories in them, but they were so nice. Oh, the bad news is they've got no vinegar. They've got other types of vinegar up there, but not the vinegar I need. Meh. Okay, right, I mean, <laughs> it is bad, isn't it's it? Manky, oh, no, it is manky. But... Mum actually bought me contact ages ago it. that I was meant to put on the top, but I never did. Anyway, it's stained, like, ground in. But these are the stickers I'm going to try and save. They're like fairies. Yeah. You've seen them, haven't you? I've have seen them. So we're trying. So no, but you might not have looked at my fairy stickers. I hope you put more. Okay, but they're so cute. So I'm gonna try and get these off without ripping. Oh, oh, actually, I think I might be alright with the bigger ones. No, no, it's just starting to rip in the middle. Oh, these would be good for like scrapbooking yeah. when I eventually do it. Yay! Right, I'm gonna try and take off the others now. Okay, so here we have a big bowl of washing, which has got to go away, so I'm going to do that now. So, the bad news is Nathan lost. I lost. But the good news is I won! A fiver! Yeah! So I spent two quid and got a fiver on this one. So, um, it was on the little bonus game. I found the little cross fingers, so, uh, yeah, not too That's shabby. Good. See, I, I feel lucky. Sunday scratching. And you had a good scratch. I know. That's <laughs> a really good scratch. I had a really good scratch, oh my. Okay everyone, so the time is now ten past nine and I've been doing some YouTube work and what else did we do? We've done something else. Oh I had something to eat. Um but yeah, I can't really remember what else I did. Oh I know what we've done. Well you done. Hold on. It's over here. Nathan has helped me to design a flyer that I'm going to put up on some local notice boards. Um, so it says three card reading, sent to your inbox, five pound, email minxlaw123 at gmail.com. And it is online tarot cards. So if you want a reading, just email me. Or if you're on socials, come and DM me. Um, but yeah, so we sat and done that actually. That is good. You've done well with that. Thank you. Um, we got a new printer the other day, which is really, really good. What is it? Canon. Canon, Canon printer. Yeah, it's a really good printer. Um, so, just going to have a little read now. This is my current book. Um, I was reading a different book, but I just, I don't know, I was getting a bit bored with it. And I was like, meh. Um, so, I've started this one. I got it the other day on eBay. It's called The Puppets of Spellhorst. Now, I will be honest, it is like a middle grade book. You couldn't tell from the cover. No, you but it's so cute. It's about these puppets and basically this old guy has them at first and then he passes away and then like an old rag and bone man comes to collect them and they're like trapped in this trunk and this guy buys them for his little nieces and yeah, the nieces kind of, well, I won't ruin it, but yeah, the nieces kind of do like a story with them and yeah, so I'm just loving the fact that it's about puppets because I've always been fascinated by puppets. Um, one of my favourite books actually that I've ever read was In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I know it's for kids, but it's it's really like just cute and wholesome. Um, it says at the back here, uh, the chest was lifted up high and then placed on the ground. Its lid was flung open. The light was dazzling. Now it all happens, whispered the boy. Now the story begins. So, um, yeah, basically bit by bit the puppets are being separated. So I hope they get back together. Otherwise it would be a bit sad. Hmm. Yeah, two, two little girls control their destiny. So, yeah, I'm just reading that. It's only like a little quick read. There's not that many pages in it. So I'm already on chapter 11, which is like there so yeah just gonna sit and read for a bit and then i don't know what my next book's gonna be it might be one of them new books that i got yesterday i'm really tempted for the antiques um what is it the antique hunter's guide to murder that sounds pretty cool so i like antique i like murder mystery crimey thrillery books so but then mm, the two ya's look good as well they're quite dark and creepy i don't know if i'm in the mood for saying dark and creepy i could be i'm not sure um but we'll see but yeah i'm gonna have a little read now um and then just yeah chill out really i've got enough calories left for a few more little snacks for the day 
and uh, you know when I say snacks, it's not bad. It's literally just like a piece of melon. Um, got that watermelon today. Um, and what's the other thing? Oh, a little chocolate um Muller chocolate fix pot, which is only like seventy calories. But I'm struggling today with the food. I've got to be honest. I'm I'm, I'm feeling quite okay, hungry, ravenous. I may say, yeah. Without going into too much detail, I'm nearly on the um. Girly the girly time <laughs> the girly time i still get embarrassed all these years later but yeah so that can make me really hungry the week before and during and after <laughs> just all the just time hungry. just hungry yeah. but no it does it does make your hormones more hungry my friend as well when we've chatted about stuff like this she's like oh, i'll get really really like starving hungry and i'm like me too so it's obviously to do hormones and that but um it's it's hard not giving in to the temptation but i'm not um Mind you, I did have a little spoonful of peanut butter today. But it was all under calories, so it's fine. But if left to my own devices and not being a good willpower that I've got, I would probably just go and get a load of chocolates. I mean, I was tempted today to get a bag of Jelly Babies. I don't even eat Jelly Babies because they've got gelatine in them. I'm not vegetarian, but that's how hungry I was. I was eyeing them up thinking, hmm. But I didn't get them, so it's all good. Um, so, yeah, we've got the fiver to come on the scratch card. I'm going to use that tomorrow. I need to go back to St... Oh, that's the winner, yeah. Um, I need to go back to Sainsbury's again. I might as well just pay rent there because I'm always bloody there. Um, but no, I forgot one thing, apart from your vinegar, two things, and that was cranberry juice light. Um, they do sell cranberry juice around the little corner shops, but they're not the light one and they're full of sugar. So mm. uh, this one's better. It's the Sainsbury's own one. Um, what's the other brand? Ocean, Ocean Spray. Ocean Spray, yeah. But they, they do a light one. But when we worked out the calories, there's actually less in the Sainsbury's one. And it's a bit cheaper, so we'll go with that. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go there tomorrow. Also tomorrow, I'm not going to vlog tomorrow, by the way. So I'm just going to tell you now quickly what I'm getting up to. Um, I need to do more filming, so that is a must. And I also need to do out the um, big wardrobe. Well, one of the big wardrobes where my clothes is. Transfer it to another wardrobe. And then, yeah, hopefully trying to sell um, some of the furniture of my mum's. Because we've just not got the space for it. And being honest, we just need the extra money. So it's just a way of, you know, doing that. Um, and, yeah, we've looked at the size and what I've got in the wardrobe. And it could easily be transferred. Also, what we're looking into get is them things we saw on TV the other night. They're like little triangle things that go on hangers. To make you hang stuff on You can hanger. make more stuff hang on one hanger. So yeah. it kind of goes down, like storage space in hangers. So, yeah, they were on TV, but they were like 30 quid. And I was like, nah, we found one on eBay for like fiver. So, I mean, they're not the official brand, but they'll do the similar the thing. thing. So, yeah, um, but that is the job tomorrow, getting out all the clothes. I mean, probably doing a bit of a sort out as well. There could be stuff that I could get rid of, like on eBay, just like a bundle of Some clothes. Of Some of it might be too big, yeah. A lot of my clothes big. have gotten too baggy. Yeah. I mean, I can still wear them, but they do. I mean, this, this looks really, like, loose now. Yeah. But, um... Yes, yeah, so that's tomorrow. A bit of a clothing uh, wardrobe to sort out. Some point this week as well, I really want to do my CDs. When I was in the office, obviously they closed their office, and um, yeah, we bought home like a load of my old CDs that I used to listen to while I work. God, I feel really old. CD player. Um, but yeah, I've got all my old CDs. So we bought them back in a big bag. I mean, there's literally, God knows, about 200. Over 100. It's got to be over 200. Um, so they've all basically got to be sorted. I want to uh, get rid of the cases because there's no point in keeping them. And Nathan for Christmas actually got me a like a, a proper big bumper CD holder case thing uh, with the sleeves in it. So I'm going to just get rid of all the cases. I'll keep the little like leaflet that comes yeah. with them if there are. So, I mean, some haven't even got a leaflet. They're just yeah. CDs. I mean, I don't even know if they work. Might be scratched up. Yeah. <laughs> but I've got some really old school albums. I'm hoping to like just sit there for an hour or whatever on my own, play the music, go through the CDs, put them all in the fold. I think that'd be quite a nice thing to do, actually. Quite calming. Relaxing. You know what I mean? Putting CDs in the little things and listening to music. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that during the week. But tomorrow, a bit of sorting out with the wardrobe. Bit of filming, nip into Sainsbury's quickly, just get some cranberry juice, light, reading, and yeah. Oh, actually, I know what's exciting. Tomorrow, I think it's Married at First Sight is on. 
the reunion. It's a reunion. And the Australia. And the Australian one starts as well. It's not all bad. Monday is going to be a good day. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, thanks for spending the weekend with me. Sorry it hasn't been like majorly exciting, but you know, it's my weekend. But um, please don't forget, give a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel, Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Links down below. As are all the social media links that I have. So come and follow me and add me on there. Oh, don't be shy. Like Come and say hi on the socials if you are on there. Give me a tweet. Well, not a tweet. An X. I don't know what you call it now. Because you can't say give me an X. Just give me an X. Give me an X. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Instagram and all that. Just, yeah, get in touch with me. Do not be shy. Come and say hi. Um, and, yeah, I've got a throne wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me. Or Nathan. He's got some Lego vouchers on there and I think that's something else as well. But, yeah, so we've got that. And also the Goodreads page if you are a fellow bookworm. Sorry, I'm itching my leg. If it looks dodgy, is my... My, my thigh. Oh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> random. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Peace out. Bye.